Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica. If you're new here, I post vlogs about my life in the Bay Area, but also tons of wedding content. If you're returning, welcome to part five of the wedding dress try-on series. In this video, I'm walking through a Asian boutique, which is different from the previous four I tried, which are more on like that Western style, but there are some perks to an Asian boutique and be sure to watch through because I'm gonna drop some helpful tips. This shop was called Love Boat Bridal. It's in Temple City, which is in Southern California. And normally when I think of Temple City, I associate it with piano lessons growing up and really awesome Asian food. I'm not gonna give a ton of commentary on this video just because one, I really only have photos and there was one standout dress, so we can talk about that one. But overall, it was just fine. The boutique itself is pretty simple. There's just one pedestal, one mirror, and one changing room, and one stylist. So that's definitely a difference and a deviation from like the more Western style boutiques. My favorite dress that I found here, which I also almost nearly bought, which I was not thinking I would, is a dress from Essence of Australia. The tricky part about this dress though was there was no tag on it. And so I had no idea what style, name, or number it was. So I think that was on purpose. Now, my theory for why I don't think the tag was on it was it's actually pretty common for Asian seamstresses and Asian boutiques to not let you take photos. And the reason they don't want you to take photos or know the names or styles is because if you take a bunch of photos, you can just take it to a seamstress and have them replicate the dress, which means as a bridal boutique, you lose out on this huge sale. And I bet you they mark up wedding dresses like crazy. So they're not really gonna give you a ton of information. So my tip for shopping here is simple, but kind of multi-step. I would say shopping at an Asian boutique like Love Boat is a good option if you already know a designer and a style or style number. I'll give you an example of why it's a good idea to shop at some place like Love Boat. I'd gone to Love Bridal and the dress that was my favorite there was a Pronovius Carlo dress. Now, because I knew the designer, the name, the style number, and had all the information, now it comes down to just like shopping the prices. So when I was at Love Bridal, they quoted me one price. When I came to Love Boat, I noticed they carried the same designer. So I asked, how much would it be to buy that dress here? Now she quoted me a number that was about two to $300 less, which is maybe not a huge difference, but it's still two to $300 that could go towards flowers photography, jewelry, accessories, alterations. Possibilities are endless. So I would say my tip for shopping at an Asian boutique is pretty simple. And the thing that you have to do though is like it requires some research ahead of time. That means if you found a dress somewhere else that you absolutely loved, resist the urge to buy it. If you have time to price shop, 
I definitely recommend if you can get the designer name, style number, style name, try an Asian boutique. See what they would quote you for the exact same dress. Generally, my feelings about Love Boat were they're great if you have designer taste with maybe not the designer budget. So go ahead, bring them the designer name, style, number, and see what they'll quote you. This does require you to, to see past the, the Instagram-ness of other places. Like if you really want to go to a boutique that has the pastel couches and the free champagne and the little snacks and little tidbits, like that's totally on you and you could totally do that for free, but you could actually just find the dress you like and buy it somewhere else. Thank you for watching and for indulging in my tips. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for other wedding dress try-ons.